I'm not even a man. <laughs> doesn't even have a penis anymore. Well, I mean, I'm oh. sure you could grow one if you wanted That's to. That's true. You could keep that tense. <laughs> you could grow a freaking boom. Hey, guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Matt. James. And we're back here with Batman, the animated series, episode five. five. Wait, is it five? Yes, it is. It is. Ah, ah. It's the, the, clay, the clay face one, part two. Cliff notes real quick on what happened the last one. It was a good one. Well, we had an impersonator, Bruce Wayne. So yeah. Bruce Wayne ended up getting arrested. And then we got the that uh, actor guy. What's his name? Matt Ray? Hagen. Matt Hagen. He uh, needs his cream. Yeah. To stay beautiful. Yeah. And and we had Raymond Bell passing out <laughs> and dropping a... It can't be more than eight feet, right? He, 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 he got dropped. He no, the pool far. was eight he, feet. Oh yeah, he got dropped by like forty or fifty feet. Oh yeah, fifty he, feet. At least. He would in real life, he'd be deceased. Probably, probably. We got to see Batman's anger, him using his like just fear and the, like the vengeance of the night to uh, obviously uh, impose that on his victims. Right. No, Absolutely. it was really cool, and I think it holds up pretty well. I remember Clayface quite a bit, and it's a disgusting tragedy what happened to him, too. So, anyways, yeah. we're going to jump into part two, guys. If you want to support us, check out our merch. Check us out on Patreon to see the full-length, uncut reaction. Yeah, shot there. Previously on Batman. Is that helping? That's what he was with. I'll have to find a way to get lots of this stuff. Got lots of it, that's for sure. His plan to get a lot of that stuff was not a good plan. No, he just broke, busted in and just fucking started smeared it all over himself. No stealth or anything. What was it? I'll never forget when I saw Gone in 60 Seconds. Oh, dude, I love that movie. Does some guy get buried alive in concrete? Fuck, it's been so long. I think I. Or maybe that was Lethal Weapon, but. Either way. I know guy gets Either way, in the car. that is a horrible way to die. Yeah. He's got the B cut in the back, B cut. Mr. Wayne, yes, what was it like to be in jail? How do you respond to the charges that you assaulted Lucius Fox? He's out on bail. Yeah, Over here. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, could you talk to us? Just. That's one bad thing about being that rich and famous. Yeah. He's constantly getting fucked with. And he's been with you, what, 10 years now, sir? And whoever impersonated you did an uncanny job. Bell said he didn't know. He had to be lying. But I know where to get the truth. I want all this stuff out of here by sunrise. Ah, oh, Matt, come on. You don't have to do this. You made a comeback before. You can do it again. No, not like that. Jesus. Come. From this? Oh. Face it, Teddy. <laughs> Matt Hagen is history. This time for good. Sooner or later, I will take control of Wayne Enterprises. Well, you shouldn't make the company public. Their marketing operation will instantly give me a distribution network. It would take me years to build on my own. I want everything wrapped up by the time but, I uh, take that show. That from Rick and Morty. I'm going to settle the Fox matter it once does. and for all. But, but, Mr. Daggett, he's in a hospital. All those sick people. <laughs> oh, is this guy a germaphobe? Hey, gee, I just saw him bust the cloth out to open the door. Didn't they call him, didn't they call him germs? I think they did. Daggett came to visit me at that clinic of his. Asking me to be his first test subject. How could I say no? He told me his Renew You formula could do in minutes what plastic surgery would take years to accomplish. But hey, it worked. I mean, you had your biggest hits after the accident. God, he is uh, some of the best parts I ever had. Wow. Why well, don't you just. Yeah, why do you just do that all the time? And you didn't use your hands this time. You didn't even try. Like uh, a reflex or something. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow! Oh, man, Rico Suave right there. That's pretty pretty Jeez. cool. It's, it's some kind that's of miracle. Amazing. That's not amazing. You broke my concentration. It won't work. Don't you see? It's too hard. It's like tensing a muscle. I can't keep it up for long. My career. I'm not even a man. <laughs> Doesn't even have a penis anymore. Well, I mean, I'm oh. sure you could grow one if you wanted That's to. That's true. You could keep that tense. Hey, you could grow a freaking <laughs> boom. I go the the whole pillow over the face trick. Look how satisfied he is.
<laughs> Let me out of here, please. All these viruses and bacteria. The man who impersonated Bruce Wayne. I want his name. I, uh, I, I don't know who. Uh... <laughs> I knew that was coming. Mm. Crimson fever. Lousy way to go. No cure, you know. The name. Matt Hagen, the movie actor. <laughs> it's the truth, I swear. Then how did he fool Fox? He's good, but no actor, no makeup is that good. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Last chance. <laughs> Talk. All right. I'll take it from here. Okay. <laughs> This is my collar. Just a moment. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't figure as a cop, but I wasn't expecting that. I did not expect it at all. I thought it was just like one of those Daggett's cronies or something. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Grab a piece of his face and pull it off. That's fucking awful, dude. Fair uses a little fucking thing to grapple up there. Relax, Jones. You won't have to hang around here too long. What in the name of heaven? Back off! <laughs> I just threw a, just chuck a brick wall at him. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, man, that's pretty freaking silly. It's like Wolverine on steroids right there. Yeah. Over oh, scissor hands. Oh, you get your legs stuck, oh, Batman. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Pushed himself too far. Hey, Jamie, what year do you think this the this series is supposed to take place? The years? Yeah. I would say 50s. That's what I said. You could do a lot if you could, like, morph into other people's identity. Yeah. But just, I think it just takes so much energy out of them. Yeah. Don't you dare patronize me! I told you I don't need rest. I don't need food. And I don't need you! Oh. Larry, get there. I've acquired the Matt Hagen films you requested, sir. Good. Hagen apparently transforms unconsciously sometimes. Like a reflex action. Yeah, no one will see him. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna notice that. Literally, remake your face. How? <laughs> it's like fucking putty. What about the addictive properties of Renew You, Mr. Daggett? How once you're hooked on it, you can't stop using it without horrible pain. No, I mean. Oh, it's it's him. <laughs> um, yeah. Why don't you tell, tell them about me? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, like the end of the Joker movie. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. He keeps slinging his body parts around. Is he eventually going to run out? That's what I was thinking. And also, like getting wet in the sewer, getting dirt, like from being on the road. Can you push out those impurities or. Don't kick him again. Yeah, hopefully he learns from his. Uh, <laughs> he put his he hit him with his butt. It, it. Hit him with his glutes. <laughs> It's <laughs> like a brain roller across the floor. Yeah. That's a big piece of it. Yeah. Significant. Oh, is this the part you're thinking of right here? The smothering him in his freaking goo. Yeah, there's no comeback from that in reality. What are you doing? Stop it! Look at the naked. Look at what you used to be. No. No. Let me help you find a cure. No! Hey, it's gone! Make him stop haunting me! I can't control it! I can't be all of them! Oh god, what they 
Street Fighter character. That's just a terrible thing. Scene like this, <laughs> too bad I won't get to read the notices. I'm just glad to know it wasn't really Bruce Wayne who attacked me. Thank you, Mr. Fox. All charges against Wayne have, of course, been dropped. Watch. I wouldn't be surprised if the body they took to the morgue was only a shell. Don't forget, first and foremost, Hagen was an actor. Fooled us all. <laughs> yep. There he is. I knew those yellow eyes were coming. What'd you just say? Amazing episode. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, it was damn good. That was great. And in fact, those two episodes together as an arc is freaking awesome. It's crazy something that's like, I don't know, like 30 years old, pretty much. It's, I'm not saying they didn't produce like deep stuff back then, but they didn't produce a lot of deep cartoons. Right. And that was definitely the very well done. I just really loved that episode. No, it was really good. And just, I mean, I always keep talking about the art style mm -hmm. and like the art of like the show and the backgrounds and like the way they color everything is just beautiful. I still have that criticism about the people, but that's just what they looked like back then. Right. Like, there wasn't this renaissance yet. And the way that he switched characters yeah. was really effective and really good. No, yeah, yeah I uh, thought so too. Our style was great. So yeah, that was, that was amazing. Yeah, the, the way that was, was actually, if you think about it, and I don't know if I remember that, honestly, but it's pretty horrifying if you're seven or eight years old watching that. Yeah. That <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that would have been horrifying. It was kind of horrifying know. for me. Now. Yeah, I know. Okay, because I remember when I watched it with a kid where I was just like, like so freaked out. There's certain characters in, in Batman I remember like distinctly freaked me the fuck out when I was a kid. Yeah, it freaked me out, dude. Yeah. One thing we were talking about was if he keeps losing these little pieces of himself, how does that affect him as a whole? Like, does he like rejuvenate himself? Like, yeah, or, is or he does constantly... he have to go back and like, collect all the shit he left behind and put it back well, in? It yeah, it shows him reabsorbing himself at certain yeah. times. Yeah. Well, obviously it's deeper than that, as Batman <coughs> said at the end, that that was a shell, right? Yeah, because he basically had his, almost a full body that just crumbled. and he... Exactly, and he's still around. Right. And Batman had a little piece of him, uh, so maybe we find out in the future what makes him him. Does that little piece have a consciousness? Yeah, that, that's same thing I was thinking. And, yeah. and I, 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 I was hoping they were going to go deeper into his uh, accident. Yeah. They didn't really. Yeah. What's with the dialogue was so good when, he, when the lady walks up on stage to dag it, Mm -hmm. uh, it was just, you know, like, I think the, the the dialogue was mature enough to where, I mean, as an adult, I just appreciate it. Like, Absolutely. Like, you didn't know about the side effects. Do they have to do direct marketing because main retailers won't carry it because of its dangerous side effects? It's just right. things that, like, I think, I mean, just the writing is just, I think, above what kids uh, really understand, especially at that time. This episode reminded me of uh, The Boys. Yeah. Uh, but, the short, the little cartoons yeah. that we reacted to. You remember that episode where they had the cream in it? Uh, the guy was applying, and eventually their head started exploding and shit. Yeah, it was a couple, right? Yeah, it was. It was a couple. There was a really. They started ugly, hitting each other. Yeah, there was a really ugly guy, and he put the cream on, and she came out of the apartment, and they, and she saw yeah. him, and they're like, fell in love. And, and shit. the girl was using it too, though, right? I think the girl was using it too. Yeah, and she was making herself look prettier. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's one show. That. That's one show I've never watched. Is the boys? And oh, it's so everybody, good. everybody says I need to watch. Yeah, it's really good. The shorts were good. You know what I mean? Yeah, the shorts are really good too. That's a good pull for mm. sure. So electricity seems to be some kind of weakness to him. At least knocked him out, and it definitely mm. makes him sporadically go crazy. But yeah, it does. Absolutely. But it. But it. Like Bruce uh, proved, it doesn't kill him. Yeah. Yeah. So. It doesn't kill him. Um, but Bruce cleared his name. Him and Lucius are good, thankfully. Also, in just another way where Batman effectively uses terror to get information or to do whatever he needs to do to get the job done. Uh, he wasn't going to let that guy get crimson fever, but he did scare him, and it was just seawater. Yeah, and it fucking, you know, you're in a hospital, and he just walks in that room like it's not secure or anything. It's got all these like, terrible viruses and shit. <laughs> yeah. well, what's, and they're not refrigerated. You yeah, know, they're not refrigerated. And, 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 yeah, that stuff needs to be stored like cryogenic uh, temperatures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you know, Whatever, it's but there again, in that respect, suspend our belief for a second. Yeah, but even like nowadays, like I don't know, if kids would think that has to be refrigerated, and it would be. No, like, uh, yeah, kids ain't gonna. Kids think aren't about no shit. Yeah, yeah, so like I, I, I could, I, I get it. Uh, yeah, I could suspend my belief for that. Yeah. I think you know, I did. It did cross my mind. And plus, was, even as an adult, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this: uh, if you could morph into anybody, who and why? I mean, I just 
I like myself. I would just not oh, be fat God. anymore. And I'd like be... an arrogant, arrogant <laughs> fucking asshole. And I'd be maybe a couple inches taller. <laughs> you'd be a couple inches taller. Yeah. Of course, he'd be yeah, his fucking I'd, I'd self. Just be, I'd just me, cause be me because I'm like the greatest thing in the fucking well, world. Well, what, what, would, you, would you want to turn into someone else in a person? Yeah, dude. dude I, I'd be Brad Pitt. He's good looking, rich. I, I, yeah, but I guess I But just, he's very flawed. There's something like, like you'd be you still, but just yeah. looking at him as a person, obviously. Well, how, okay, there's some okay. shit we don't know about him because of all the shit that went down with Andrew, no, yeah, Angelina yeah, 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 Jolie. Yeah, yeah but, but was that all on him? But, but who knows? Just, I don't know the background story. I'm but, just saying. But if it was just aesthetics, none of the their personality traits, yeah. none of this, if it's just aesthetics. Yeah. So how far do you take that? Do you live your rest of your life looking like him? I, I'd take a week. Oh, yeah, but uh, what are you going to do? You imagine, what's, what's you imagine all mean? you get accomplished in a week being Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say ben, ben Affleck or Brad Pitt? Or not Pitt? Ben, Brad Pitt, sorry. Yeah, but like, yeah, but then you're also... Or, people, or Ben Affleck, too, either one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it would get out that... That's that, the that, parallel. That, uh, they that, would have to disappear. We, they'd have yeah, to disappear. Say, it would get out that this one yeah. of the most famous people in the world are in Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, that's yeah. why you just do it for a week so no one notices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you just walk around and go to the bar and try to pick up chicks? Because they would know you're Brad Pitt. Yeah. They would take pictures of you. And then his people would go, "Hey, are, are you in? Are you in Toledo, Ohio?" Yeah. Just, a week later, no one would know. Yeah. yeah. See, I would want a more permanent solution, and that probably sounds really horrible. Like I have the lowest self esteem, but I'd probably take like the most obscure, really great looking guy in like a foreign country and probably mimic him. You know what I mean? Like, but famous enough that if I went to that country, <laughs> like. I you just get, pick some obscure supermodel, though. Yeah, or maybe some obscure supermodel. Yeah, you know I mean, I would make my you know, make myself look like Tyler Law. We graduated <laughs> high school. We graduated high school with him. Yeah, basketball player. Uh, Stunning, and, now, right. and then he became a supermodel, literally. Right, literally. But he's not like again. famous. Yeah, I mean, he's just a supermodel. Right? Yeah, but then see, the downside of that though is you would want to be somebody famous enough to get like the rich and the perks, right? Yeah, like the money and yeah, but and like, shit like that. So it's kind of. But if you're that. And I'm not saying because there's really good looking people who try to make in the industry and they can't. Right. Because a lot of times they don't like casting like a 10 out of 10 person for every movie role. They like casting like one person for that role and then everyone else is a supporting role. Yeah, I yeah, mean, well, maybe somebody famous enough. You gotta, yeah. It's kind of like dropped off the face of the earth. Like, is there any like really super famous people that have kind of just like got away from the limelight and then like you would be able to like, are you? Like, no, it, I am them. This person. No, that's well, not. Well, they would them. just come out of hiding and go, no. Yeah, and you'd be like, no, that's not the real them. Look at them, and they probably don't look as good as they then used the to jiggle, look. Then the jiggle, but that the jiggle be up after that. <laughs> well, yeah. there's two of them. You got to get rid, got rid, get rid of one of them. Yeah, so well, you, so you better be on your A game. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, all, that's what I'm saying. What, what is a permanent solution? Yeah, I like being know. Brad Pitt for a week. I feel like the jig would be up. No, nah, no one would notice him for a week. Literally, but nobody would notice for a week. If I'm going to be somebody for a week, though, yeah. You but know. if you went out and you impersonate that person out in the real world and try to like, yeah, the chances are Brad Pitt would never even find out. Yeah. Do other people be taking pictures of you? And everything. It would, It'd be yeah, yeah. Since Brad Pitt visits my social media account every single day, I'd be like that's not me. No, the paparazzi. <laughs> it would be. It would be on TV. He would like, find out after the fact, probably. Yeah, he'd find but, out. Probably find out after the fact. You would but, be swarmed by people. You I know. know who he's I'd too. Like to be he's for, too famous. Right. You know who I'd like to be for a week, though? Who? 95% of the people that watch this aren't even know who he is. I'm probably going to pronounce his name right. You might. Dan Blazarian? Oh, da- yeah. The Blazarian. super rich guy yeah. that gets yeah. laid by all those Dude, he literally, I mean, this is no shit. He's literally got 25, 30, 50 women with him at all oh, times yeah. on his yacht. Yeah. And he's just living a beautiful fucking life. He really is. He is, but you know, it, it, it might be pretty empty and shallow. I'm going to do it for a week. Just a week. Okay, I've, I've a watched week. a bunch of podcasts with him on. Well, I've YouTube. seen him talk of, you know, how he accumulated supposedly all his fortune gambling. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I've seen I people walk out of the casino <laughs> winning six figures.